Hey everyone, it's your girl Savvy back with you with another edition of Savvy Beauty I and O. That stands for Savvy Beauty Inside and Out because we all know that true beauty, real beauty starts from within, but there's all these wonderful things we can do today to match the outer beauty to the inner beauty. So today's video is going to be on products that have been around forever that we all know of and probably have in our house that we can use to help our outer beauty. If you like my video, please hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it and maybe give me a little thumbs up. Okay, so the reason I'm doing this video today is truthfully because I found out a couple weeks ago that J-Lo, we all love Jennifer Lopez, we all love Jenny from the Block, she is coming out or has come out with her own skincare line. And, you know, certainly it can be said that if you're going to look to somebody for beauty and skincare tips and style tips, certainly Jennifer Lopez would be a great way to start because, a great person to start with because she is so, so amazingly beautiful. And I do think think that her beauty is a natural beauty. And, you know, I, I think that her product line is probably very good. I'm certainly not here to put it down or to promote it either way. The thing that got me interested was that one of the things she's sort of promoting or touting as a super duper ingredient to her products is Italian extra virgin olive oil. And I am of Italian descent. And I mean, olive oil has been around for thousands of years, okay? Italian women have known about this. Greek women have known about this for many, many centuries. My own mother and grandmother and all of my aunts, they have used this all their lives. And so have I. You use it as a skin oil treatment. You use it as a oil treatment to do oil pull in the mouth. We use it, we eat it, of course, and we take tablespoons of it daily for that, uh, that fatty acid that is so necessary to keep us healthy. My mom used to use it as a deep conditioning treatment on her hair. Every once in a while, my, my, I still haven't gotten to the salon yet, but I'm going to get my hair cut at the end of this month finally. But when my hair is super dry on the ends, I use a little bit between my palms as like a, you know, close up those dry ends and split ends. Um, the thing that I guess actually really reminded me of it when I heard JLo promoting her products is that one of my mother's big heroes and her favorite movie star is Sophia Loren. Who doesn't love Sophia Loren? Who does not think Sophia Loren is one of the most gorgeous women that ever lived? Sophia Loren is from Italy and she wrote this beauty book. This is old. This beauty book was my mom's. She bought it probably 37 years ago. It's almost a 40 year old book. And not a lot has changed. I mean, sure, we have some better treatments and, and better, you know, skincare products with peptides and Retin-A and things they didn't have back in, you know, the early 80s. But there's a lot in this beauty book that is very much the same as today and things that we could be doing as women that Sophia did. And probably one of the reasons she looks so great in her 80s because she's in her 80s and she's beautiful. Now, a lot of this just is very, you know, very typical or just, you know, it hasn't changed at all in that, like, she's talking about using olive oil. She said she uses olive oil on her skin, her hair, everything my mom and my, my Nona did. She's talking about exercise, doing exercise. Wow, you know, who to thunk? And she's talking about using things like lemon, lemon juice to, you know, lighten spots on, on the skin or, you know, as an astringent or putting lemon in your water and drinking it. These are all things that have been around forever as beauty treatments. And we still use them today and can still use them today. I think the other thing that got me interested is that because we are still in kind of the thick of the COVID-19 pandemic, I'm living in Los Angeles, we're still on stay home order here. A lot of us who may have gone for spa treatments, facials and, you know, haircuts and things like that, um, you know, we can't do that right now. So we have to do things from home. And a lot of us are very budget conscious too, because we're trying to save money because I'm still working, but we're a little bit more penny wise right now because of COVID-19. So it's preferable. I'm sorry, that's my little dog coughing. Excuse him. He's, he's over here. He's my little Jack Russell is, he's coughing up a hairball over here. Pardon him. Um, you okay, pal? Okay. He's okay. So a lot of us are trying to save money. And so some of these home remedies are just super, super useful. Um, the other thing is like teeth whitening. Like I use activated charcoal, but one of the things in Sophia's book is talking about 
hydrogen peroxide and baking soda to keep her smile nice and white. That's what's in toothpaste today, hydrogen peroxide and baking soda to keep our teeth white. So, you know, those are things that this cost a dollar. Everybody has peroxide, everybody has, you know, baking soda in their kitchen. And those things still work today and, and women have been using that, you know, home remedy for many, many years. Um, the other book that I deferred to after I discovered my mom's, you know, book on Sophia Loren, her, her beauty book from many years ago, I had a beauty book from the late 80s that I busted out. And it was by a, a lady I used to like. Sadly, she passed away uh, about 20 years ago. Um, Polly Yates. Polly Yates used to do a TV show called The Big Breakfast over in England on the BBC. She was also known as Lady Geldof because she was the wife of Bob Geldof, uh, Sir Bob Geldof. And she had four children. She was a beautiful blonde, just a tall, beautiful blonde. But she wrote this wonderful beauty book for women who were moms. And it was like those days when you feel like a dog this is how to you know what you do to make yourself feel better it was her like little beauty book and a couple of the things I learned from Paula's beauty book were as follows instead of wearing bronzer or like raspberry toned blush if your skin looks sallow or ashy or dull and you just don't feel like you look that youthful and fresh instead of using like a bronzer or like a raspberry tone or pink tone blush you bust out the old peach colored as in peach peaches and cream this one is kind of a kind of a powder uh to cream mashup by la girl it's called velvet peach and i love this this is a beauty tool i have used that i learned from paula that i have used many many times when i feel like i look tired and it really does brighten and lift and make you look less tired and just more vibrant. So that's something, it's not exactly a home remedy, but it's an inexpensive drugstore remedy that really does work. The other home remedy is actually from, uh, I learned this from Raquel Welch. Now Raquel Welch is still alive, like Sophia Loren, she's about 80, still looks phenomenal. Now I'm sure that Sophia Loren and Raquel Welch these days probably do some spa treatments and things like that and use the newest products. But one of the things when Raquel Welch was asked by Piers Morgan a number of years ago, why her skin looks so good, she said that one of her biggest skin secrets is bag balm. Bag balm, farmers and ranchers use bag balm. They use it on cow's udders. It is a really emollient, like a salve um, that's been around forever. When I heard her say that, when my skin gets really dry, because even though I'm in Southern California and I'm not living in intense cold, my skin in the wintertime can get really dry. My hands get really dry right now because I'm constantly washing my hands because of COVID. You know, we have to wash them so much more. So I have learned to use bag balm and Raquel Welch is right. It does wonders for your skin. Now, you don't want to use it every night, but, you know, if you use it once a week or when your skin just feels particularly really, really dry, this is a great tool. What I've been doing is a Hollywood trick is to put something like this on your feet and on your hands, then cover them with socks and gloves and go to sleep the next morning, take those off and wash the stuff off and your skin is you know, nice and smooth and, and, and beautiful again. But I don't really like to wear socks and gloves to bed in California. So I have these things that are called, um, these are spa gloves. This is by a company called Zim's, Zim Spa Gloves. Now these gloves are already treated with some kind of an, in, an emollient coating. Um, but I do the bag balm too. And then I put the gloves on and I do my housework for a couple hours or I read. And, and when I take those gloves off and I, I just take a washcloth and, you know, get the bag balm off the residual. My skin on my feet and my hands, so supple, so smooth, so moisturized. I love it. So just old fashioned bag balm. The last two, three products, this one comes to us from Elizabeth Taylor. Elizabeth Taylor had the most beautiful eyebrows and eyelashes. She was actually blessed with a double row of eyelashes naturally. And I do have good lashes and brows. I did a video about that, about three three videos ago. But, you know, you still want to keep your lashes and brows, you know, moisturized or conditioned, I think is the word, so that they're growing and they look nice and full and shiny and, and just beautiful. Um, Elizabeth Taylor used castor oil. Castor oil is very natural, very inexpensive, and it's from, I think, the black castor bean. It's a little bit thick, but, you know, you just, a little dab will do you, as they used to say at Brill Cream. 
and it really does wonders it really does thicken up your eye brows or maybe it just conditions them and makes them look darker and your lashes it keeps them beautifully conditioned so it is it, it's actually called caribbean miracle castor hair oil okay um you know something castor oil has been around for centuries and this is just a wonderful product that is a all natural product that you can use and you probably have some castor oil sitting around your house somewhere the last two things are Truly Hollywood tricks that I can't even tell you where I, I learned them. I don't even remember, but these have been around in Hollywood for many, many decades. The first one is for de-puffing because, you know, back in the day, we didn't have these like jade rollers and things like that to de-puff. So if a woman woke up in the morning and she had some puffy eye bags going on, what she would do is take a metal spoon, teaspoon, tablespoon, doesn't matter, your preference, wet it, throw it in the freezer. The next morning when you get up and you have those under eye bags, you press the spoon couple seconds on each side wherever you have puffiness it gets the puffiness down then you apply your favorite day cream and your makeup and goodbye puffiness and we all have a spoon in our kitchen that we can throw in a freezer which we all have and it is a, a, a just an age-old decades-old beauty tip and tool from here in Hollywood that works lastly um, this is kind of a three-part thing that I want to mention Back in the day when most people didn't want to do facelifts, and me, I don't do, I'm not, I haven't done any plastic surgery. I don't do Botox or fillers. I've tried them. I didn't like them. Doesn't mean off the table for me forever, but just right now, not going to do those things. I'm in my mid-50s. I just want to thug this age thing out as naturally and beautifully as I can. Um... Also, because of COVID-19, I'm really not that down with going to the, a doctor's office right now or a spa. I'm getting my hair cut at the end of this month, finally. And, you know, that's going to be like I'm wearing, I'm wearing my mask everywhere, washing my hands. I got a visor, the whole thing. Like I'm taking every precaution. But back many years ago, there were just people that were afraid to go under the knife, but they went to award shows or parties and they just wanted to look lifted and fresh and they just wanted to look a little bit younger. So they would do one of two things. There are these tabs that men and women for Hollywood films used to wear. They almost look like square band-aids and they had holes in them and they would attach a rubber band like thing to one hole in the one sticky thing that they would put about right here and right here and they would pull it put their hair over it and pull it to the other side and it would give them like kind of a lifted look just for the evening then they would go home and take them off and look like their old self again and uh, a lot of I worked with an actor who I'm not going to out the guy because this guy is handsome no matter what he does okay and he's in his 80s now this was about 20 years ago and they wanted him to look a little younger for this role as a, I think he was a dance instructor in the film, if I recall correctly. And when he came on set, believe me, he looked gorgeous, even though he was in his 60s. But he went in his trailer and they put those, you know, pull tabs on him uh, just for the filming of the movie. And of course, he looked younger and it, it, it worked. Now, I don't want to do those things, but something that some of the ladies were using back then was a, uh, sometimes they would use hemorrhoid cream, like Preparation H, they would put it on. Um, I don't like the smell of Preparation H, so I'm not using that. But there is this thing called True Level Lifting Cream. Now, there's ones by like Sudden Change or Sudden Lift. Those are usually some kind of a serum and they look really unnatural and really weird. I've seen those and sometimes they look flaky. This isn't going to give someone a huge lift you know and I tend to use things like I'm using the infrared red lighting right now microcurrent I just ordered my first microcurrent machine but these lifting creams actually work pretty well just for a light lift just again if there's a, a special event or a photograph that you're going to be in that you want to look a little more youthful and vibrant it's a white cream and you put it on dry cleansed skin and you put it on now of course I have makeup on but I'm just going to show you you would put it on an upward dry you know little white like white cream you put it on in you know upward motion and then let it sit. You maybe hold the skin up a little bit. Let it sit. And once it dries, it just gives you a slight lift. Then you apply your makeup so that you look, you know, lifted. And it's just a little temporary little fix. 
And I don't know if that's helpful for somebody for their next Zoom meeting. Uh, I'm working remotely. I do Zoom meetings. So, you know, if that's a helpful tip for you, that's another one. Again, not a natural tip, but some, kind of like a drugstore tip that you don't have to go to a spa or a doctor's to accrue. So that is my video for today. I hope you guys found it helpful. And somebody gave me a great saying today. They said, cross everything you have to of, which means be grateful for everything you have to of, two parents, two best friends, two dogs, cross everything you have two of. So I'm going to leave you with that. Ciao, ciao. See you next time.